Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up Aquas via the Gaia Manager. Uh, since Aquas ca comes as a Gaia extension you can quickly add it um, if you have both Gaia and Aquas. So for this I have created a basic terrain with Gaia and uh, I've created some I've spawned some textures and some some trees and details and all that stuff. And I'm not going to go through the process of making that because Adam has made some pretty good tutorials on how to make uh, how to create terrains using Gaia. Instead, I'm just going to show you how to add aquas using uh, Gaia um or the Gaia manager. Um in this case we don't need to specify what the terrain is, we don't need to specify the sea level as we would normally have to do with the um, Aquas Quick Setup and we don't have to specify the camera that is being used. Um, this information is being given to us by Gaia. So first thing I'm going to do now that I have my terrain set up is I'm going to go to the Gaia Manager which is uh, down in the bottom right corner and I'm going to click on GX, which stands for Gaia Extensions. And if you have Aquas installed, Dogmatic should show up here under Installed. And here's the Compatibles list, and here's uh, the Installed um, Gaia Extensions. And uh, now if I click on Dogmatic, which is me, um, Aquas is going to show up. And if I expand that, I get four buttons, uh, one being the About button. Uh, which is only some generic information about Aquas. And the second button is Add Aquas, that adds the water to our scene. Uh, the third one is Add Underwater Effects, and the fourth one is uh, some additional hints and, and, and uh, tips on um, how you can how you can make the best use of Aquas um, in your scene. So, yeah, um, first step, let's just quickly click Add Aquas and see what happens. And voila! we already got our water set up and second step let's uh, add the underwater effects are also required and that's also done and um, I think that's already it so if I hit play now it should be working let's see and there we are as my first person controller that I added beforehand and uh, Aquas is working as expected. We have the shoreline, we have the colors. We can, of course, change all the values, all the material properties as we see fit. Um, but um, more on that in another tutorial. Um, for now, we have successfully set up Aquas with Gaia. Let's just quickly go underwater and see if that works. And it seems to work out of the box. Uh, let's dive back up. And yeah, that too seems to work. Caustics work. Yeah, everything everything's fine. So that's that's pretty much it. And we're running at we're running at uh, easily 200, 250 uh, frames per second with that. Um, even though I'm working on a six-year-old machine, that's uh, quite nice. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you, which is not exactly, um, which is not re exactly guy related, but I've been asked um, oftentimes um, one thing. Let me quickly show you what I mean. Uh, um, I've been asked if I select the Aquas water plane, and if I go to the um, to the material properties and uh, scroll down. Here I have a checkbox called Enable Custom Fog. Uh, and I've often been asked uh, what this is good for. Well, let me quickly show you um, what this is good for by first disabling the lens effects and second enable global fog. And now you can see that Aquas, uh, let me quickly um, plan out the stats here, you can see that Aquas doesn't receive uh, fog, uh, at least some types of fog. Um, not every fog. Unity's global fog usually works fine. I've just uh, made a configuration that uh, 
that doesn't work uh, f correctly. Just to show you what uh, the custom fog on Arquos is good for, it's because um, now I have a fog enabled that uses the Z buffer to calculate where the fog becomes stronger. Um, so so as it were, which part on your screen is further away gets more fog and the closer parts don't get fog at all. Now, as you can see, Aquas doesn't get fog at all. That is because it's an alpha blended shader and in Unity, alpha blended shaders cannot receive fog that relies on the Z buffer. In, in effect, it, they can't use the Z buffer and that's why it has the custom fog. Now, if I select the Aquas water plane, and I mean, of course, I know this fog right here is exaggerated, but it's just um, f for the sake of demonstration. If I go here and click Enable Custom Fog, uh, and then uh, reduce the fog distance a bit, let me let me reduce it to like 700, or maybe maybe even 500, and reduce the fog fade to something like, oh, that's way too fast, to 1.2 and yeah, maybe maybe even close farther away, you can see that uh, using Aquas's custom fog I can have um, it blend in smoothly or uh, maybe we should consider even Closer, like 300. Yeah, that's that's about the right, the right value. And let's get the fog fade. You see, it's kind of, kind of playing around a bit until you got it right. But now I have the fog, on the aqueous water plane blending in smoothly, with the rest of the fog. And um, as far as I know, um, dynamic weather systems like Tenkoku and um, time of day and maybe even Unistorm use fog systems that rely on the Z buffer and here's where the custom fog of Aquas comes in handy. And uh, yeah, it's not really related to Gaia, but I thought it might be worth mentioning and showing how to use it. And uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions or feedback, uh, please just send me an email or leave a post in the Aquas forum. And uh, also be very helpful, of course, if you leave a review on the Asset Store um, to keep development going. And uh, yeah, that is it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.